So if you want to discuss how that was done in the chat, feel free to. But I am going to present uh, something new, a new chronotype. So, and again, I have to add a post-it here somewhere. So check if you are in demo mode. That's what I, what I call it. And I am in demo mode. So if I now uh, switch to the next tab, we'll see actually um, that the chronotype is actually already in use. So uh, if we go to that site over here, so this is a page from the University of wrongly pronounced, I guess, Saskatchewan um, in Canada. And uh, they needed a new chronotype for this. So they have the use case that they have images. And um, you see, it's an old image and some things are tiny. Maybe you can see properly, or maybe um, if you have a look at the, the uh, front over here. So this is pretty chaotic, but if I now hover uh, on top of that, uh, you can see uh, we have magnification, no, what, what's it called? Um, magnification class, a lens. Um, so we can, can, can now have a look at, we can, we can zoom in, we can zoom out, we can really, really go crazy here. So if I really wanted to, to inspect that part over here, so um, then I can zoom in and uh, I can zoom out again. So <laughs> as I noted before, my, my uh, note on Twitter, it's not huge. Uh, but I think it's pretty useful. And we can have a look at some uh, things that you can do with it. So uh, maybe first of all, um, yeah, some of the features that it has. So uh, as you can see, um, it automatically hovers on the desktop. It doesn't do anything on a smartphone because we decided it doesn't, you already have pin zoom on, on smartphones. So um, this is the intuitive way that you do it. So it doesn't make sense to add another way to, to zoom uh, into stuff. So... And it does nothing on a smartphone, but on the desktop, um, you can see if you want to, it can automatically hover, uh, uh, appear when you hover that image and you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Um, what you can also do, that's why you have that small uh, symbol down here. You see, maybe on a, uh, you, you could be able, it is a, a like a symbol for a magnification lens. Um, so, and if I, I just hit tabs, you see, you may, may see it now has a little, no, you see, don't see it when I have the lens there. So it has a little border now, so it's active, which because um, this content type also has a feature, uh, features a keyboard uh, support. It features keyboard support. Yeah, it sounds strange, but I guess it's correct. So uh, I can hit the cursor keys now. So um, I can move around uh, on uh, that, that lens on screen as well. And I can hit the uh, the plus key or the minus key to zoom in and zoom out. So people with uh, disabilities, with motorical um, uh, deficiencies can, can use it as well. Or if you prefer using a keyboard, so uh, you can. So that is one of the features. And it has, you, you can tweak it a little bit, but to show that, um, I'll just show you how to create one of those. So um, I'll switch to another tab. Um, so here I'm on my local Drupal system, which is nothing fancy, it just has HFE on it. And uh, it's called Image Zoom, by the way. So if I, oops, look for Image Zoom, I'll find it. It doesn't have an icon here because on, on uh, development systems, the icons don't get loaded for some reason. But it, it has a, a not too fancy icon, but it has an icon. So I can click on, on Image Zoom. And as always, I have to, to give it a title. Uh, let's call it my first image zoom or something like that. So image zoom, then of course we need to add an image. Um, oh, I have prepared something. Let's have a look. I know I have lots of nice animal pictures and I like, where's my sea turtle? Here's my sea turtle. Turtles are great. Um, we have the image of a turtle. And of course we should um, give it a speaking all alternative text. That's used for uh, people with, well, well, kind of strange. You have a, like a visual tool where you have to add the alternative text, but uh, because people who are blind couldn't read it, uh, couldn't couldn't use it the the, the content really, but at least they could see or or learn that there is a turtle. Um, yeah, hover text. We don't need that, and then you have some other options. So first of all, um, kind of again, if you saw saw uh, the bingo video, so you can define how uh, the wide the image should be. And actually, I used those. It might seem strange why I used those. Uh, but those are the options that are supposed to go into HFV column for limiting the height of the width of images. So I use those. So uh, let's say 
for whatever reason, I just want to use 50% of the screen, and uh, you can set that. And I think the, the dark image that we saw before uses that as well. And then you can set the image alignment it's center by default, which probably makes sense, but you could put it on the left-hand side or the right-hand side if you wanted to. And uh, yeah, then you can define the size of the magnification lens. So here the default is 20% and 25%, which is pretty decent. Uh, but let's say just so you see that you can tweak it. Let's say it should always take 50% of the width and maybe 50% of the height of the image. So like we could have four sectors kind of. So you could define that. And uh, yeah, you can also, it is on by default, but let's say uh, you don't want to uh, darken the image um, when you um, hover over it, then you can just deactivate that so the image won't get darkened. And we have some more settings. So we could also set, um, by default, it will automatically zoom. So whenever you hover uh, that image, that uh, lens will appear. So maybe you don't want that then you just deactivate that. And maybe you don't like that symbol in the uh, lower hand corner, that um, magnification lens symbol. You could hide it and it still works, but um, it's, it's kind of the visual um, anchor for people who are not blind, but who are can see badly that, that something is going on. So it's better um, for them to have it. But if you don't want it, you can hide it. And if you then save this stuff, then you'll see, okay, we have this turtle and now um, I'm hovering over it, but nothing happens because I deactivated that. We don't have that symbol in the lower hand corner and uh, it uses 50% of the screen width. Um, I think I had image width before. Wrong, of course, this is screen width. And uh, what else? Oh, it's centered. And yeah, it, it doesn't do anything by default, but if I now click on the image, then I will get the lens and you see it has 50% of the image width and 50% of the image height. So we have these four sectors that we maybe want to have and I can zoom in and zoom out. And um, and that is image zoom, uh, Im image zoom um, a new kind of type. If you want to get it, um, you can in just a second. So um, you could copy that link that you maybe can read on top in the URL bar, but um, Let's see, I have that prepared. So um, if you now go to my, my blog, if you know it, um, then you can see that page as well on top. Um, yeah, so uh, there it is, kind of a boring name this time, Image Zoom. <laughs> you know, I'm famous for my strange names of corner types and plugins. And it, you, you have two examples. So here you have a beautiful picture of uh, Somai in Norway, um, where you see that it zooms in automatically. This is a kind of the default, and but it also lists all the options that I just uh, showed you. And if you want to install that yourself, because it's not on the HFP Hub yet, apparently, um, yeah, you would go uh, to that page, uh, click on reuse, and then you can download that content type. And if you upload that content type on your platform, and you have the <coughs> uh, the required permissions on that platform, then it will install the missing libraries, and then you can image uh, can use Image Zoom on your platform as well. So that's ImageZoom. I hope you like it.